Hello Airsoft friends and welcome to this video today where I'm going to be sharing some information with you about something which I'm unsure about. I don't know if you're going to like find this information useful or helpful but it's the kind of information which I know that for me if somebody had told me this then it would have saved me a lot of pain and issue and I would have got more kills as a result as well. So yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your reaction so please do let me know if this changed your life at all or, or improved your airsoft or you think it will improve your airsoft, please do let me know below. I'm very interested if, if that is the case. Anyway, what is it? Sniper rifles. We love them, don't we? Maybe not everyone, but I love them and I have a collection of them and I've been sniping pretty much since I started airsoft, although my first gun wasn't a sniper rifle. It was a Vulcan ASL is that right? M4 mod M4 rifle? It was alright, it did the job and I broke it because I took it apart too many times and I, I tried to upgrade it and, and I just made it work. I then, shortly afterwards later on, I picked up a JG Bar 10 VSR clone. It was about 120 odd pounds, I managed to get it discounted because it was a display model and had a single scratch on the stock. Hooray, always ask questions or you don't get anything. And I immediately upgraded it. I already had springs for it, I put the springs in and then realised that the spring that I wanted to use, the trigger couldn't handle so I then had to buy trigger, uh, that came like spring guide, uh, piston, all that fun stuff, barrel as well. And that barrel is actually currently in my SRS. So got that sniper rifle and you know what? I bloody loved it. And it's very similar actually to my cheapo Well MBO3A sniper rifle, which I have here. Sadly, I don't have my first sniper rifle because I actually sold that to buy my Crytac CRB Mark II M4 because I couldn't justify having that rifle. And I'm sad I did because I would have liked to have, have had that now as like a bit of a memento, but it was quite damaged and knackered. But anyway, it was very similar to this. So with me being quite VSR focused with this one here, I might, the bolt pull or the way that I pull the bolt was universally transferred over from the JG Bar 10. And what I mean by that is with a VSR, generally speaking, you flick up the bolt like that with your finger or that's how I like to do it anyway. And then I just grab, you know, the outer edge of it because it's always been a super smooth bolt pull for me like that. And then just straight back down. And that's how I did my bolt pull, you know, just like, you know, flick it up, pull it like that, right on the edge. As you can see there, I'm right on the edge of the bolt here on the nubbin. Push it forward and then go. And I found that that just is quick, super smooth, going down. I then get my finger back on the trigger and then can take the shot. So if I did need to rapid fire, then I could do that. And that was cool. The thing that I have recently come to discover though, is that type of bolt pull does not work on every sniper rifle. And what I mean by that is, sure, if I put this down, let me get the, uh, the SSG-10 as well. So I've got the SSG-10 here, which you've seen in other videos too. Because it's a VSR, it has the same kind of like, the same kind of bolt pull works on it. So you flick it up with your finger, you pull it back, again, right on the outside edge of that, because I find that to be the most comfortable, pushing it down and then in, and then boom, the shot. And again, with it, my hand stays really low as well. As you can see, my fingers are kind of like clawed down and my hand is really low. Push it back and then boom, take the shot. The thing is though, that doesn't work with all rifles as I've already said. Specifically speaking, I found this the most with the SRS. And I bought my SRS when I wanted to get back into sniping again. So I sold my VSR, got my Crytek M4, and then I was like, you know what? It's the SRS time. So I bought this. I love this thing so much. It was so much fun. But the only downside to it, or thing that I didn't like, was the bolt pull. I couldn't get it smooth, no matter how much I cleaned it, no matter how much I lubricated it, no matter how, what type of lube I put, I couldn't get the bolt pull smooth. And the problem which I've now discovered is that I was pulling it the same way I would pull a VSR. So on the SRS, as you can see, I'd be pulling the bolt up like this and then keeping my hand quite low, pulling it right on the outside edge. And even now you can see, pulling it like that, it's a, bit, it's a bit tricky for me to do so. And it's because of that that I kind of partly fell a little bit out of love with sniping because this rifle, I was so looking forward to using. I was so hyped about it. It was the most expensive rifle I've bought, like, you know, stock. And uh, the experience with it just wasn't that great. Fast forward now to the SSG-96, which I also have here as well. Boom! And again, I was doing the bolt pull in the exact same way as the VSR. So I flick up the bolt with my finger, grab the outside edge, pull it, do the cock, push it back in, and again, 
that was the that was the flow. And to be fair, I have said this in multiple videos before in the past as well that I wasn't a huge fan of the bolt pull, and I've always preferred the VSR. The thing that I found out now though is it's because I was doing the VSR type bolt pull on this and my SRS, that just doesn't work. It doesn't make sense to do that. And the reason why I found this out is I, was, I spent a lot of time watching other snipers play. And you know, especially at Phoenix Airsoft, when I was there watching other snipers kind of like, you know, just, just uh, zero in their rifles, I was watching their bolt pull and it was very, very different to mine. So instead of the VSR type where, you know, flicking it up, keeping your hand quite low and that, what they were doing was they would move it up and they would actually kind of grab as close to the bolt as they could do, like that. So instead of being out here, they were like that. And then they would pull back like this, go back in, and then they would take their shot. And oh my God, when I tried that, I felt like, I don't know, like I discovered something magical, which is why I'm sharing this video. I'm making this video with you guys, because hopefully this will be a magical moment for you too. Oh, it transformed the gun. Hands down, it transformed my experience using the SSG-96, and it's also transformed my experience using the SRS, which I am so happy about because I love that gun. It's got the same length in a barrel, I believe, as this one here. The minute in there, it's 470 mil, so it's super long, considering the actual length of the gun. And the best thing about this rifle is it's shorter than my M4. So considering the length of it, the length of the barrel inside, and now from grabbing it and pulling it this way, it is so buttery. Every single shot is just super smooth, easy, buttery, just like that. And I am so happy. Um, you have no idea. You know, like I said, even with the SSG-96, let me do a couple more pulls on that one. Super smooth. It's insane, the difference. And I'm just like flabbergasted, I guess is a good word to say that, because I never really thought about the way I was pulling the bolt. And I always just kind of assumed that you know, on the handles, on the bolt handles, you know, this bit's here just to grab and pull that. But you know what? You get a much, much better experience on some rifles, grabbing in as early as you can in the actual handle itself, rather than just grabbing the end. And from a, you know, a sciencey way, it does make sense. And I did try different bolt pulls on the SRS, but you know, to be honest, just grabbing it right in as close as you can and pulling it back with your hand like all over the top, instead of like on the hand sideways, Ah, oh, it makes all the difference in the world. I feel like it was just, oh my God, I was this old when I realized this thing. And it's a big deal. So if you've got a sniper rifle, if you've got an SSG-96 or an SRS and you find that your bolt pull isn't that great, then try this, you know, give it a go. The other little thing that I've discovered recently, the other day as well, is this stuff is just the best thing ever. It's dry PTFE lubricant. Now out there, there are a few different types of lubricant you can get like silicon sprays, there's a, gu a silicon gun oil I used to use as well, but this stuff is just absolutely ridiculous. And this isn't a sponsor bit at all, like, I, I mean, if they wanna sponsor me, sponsor me. But seriously, this dry PTFE lubricant, I put it on my SRS and along with the new bolt pull, oh my God, I put it on the SSG-96, oh my God. Like seriously, this stuff is so good. I've, it's, it's, it's legit just changed my life. So yeah, pick yourself some up. The, the dry PETFE, I'll put a link in the description, and if I haven't, it's because I've forgotten, so just, just poke me in the comments to remind me. And uh, yeah, grab some, because seriously, this is the this is the best stuff I've ever used, and it just transformed my gun along with the uh, the bolt pull. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, Hopefully that's gonna change your life in a, in a very big positive way. It's definitely done mine. Huge shout out to all my lovely patrons who are supporting the channel, keeping the cogs turning and everything going. Like I've said before, we are ever closer to the giveaway where we have over 110 pounds worth of stuff, including an airsoft sniper rifle, which we'll be giving away. So if you wanna join, there's only like what? Six spots left, I think, something like that. Link's in the description, it's 12 pounds to enter and we'll be drawing it at the end of the month. And the best thing is there's two prizes. You'll either get the sniper rifle or you'll get the 50 pound voucher. And uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be kicking off next month or we'll be announcing what's up for grabs next month in uh, probably about a week's time or so. So yeah, monthly draws on the Patreon. And as always, as you may have guessed, this episode was sponsored by Project Airsoft, so go check out the website. New items on there all the time, and uh, yeah, we actually have some new fancy ones. One item of which was uh, in this video, but I didn't actually mention it. So if you look through the video sneakily, you may see one of the upcoming potential new items once it passed some, uh, some rigorous testing. But yeah, until that time, thank you very much for watching. Remember to call your hits, and I'll see you in the next one.